And welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at Victor's in Hollywood off of Bronson Avenue. Welcome to the 10 Count in our panel. I'm Steve Kim from UCN Live. We have Dave Smith, radio personality, and the institution from the Sentinel, Ken Miller, and my old running mate from Max Boxing, now the editor-in-chief of Ring TV, Doug Fisher. Doug, let's get right into this. May 13th, guys, excuse me, September 13th, is the rematch between Floyd Mayweather and Marcos Maidana. And the question's very simple. Do any of us really give a damn? Doug, I know you don't give a damn to a point. You're not even covering the fight. I'm not going. No, no, I don't. I have no desire to cover a Floyd Mayweather event <laughs> live anymore. I think, number one, I think I've seen the best fights that Floyd, that Floyd Mayweather has in him. And um, it really goes back to Floyd's first fight under the Showtime contract where he fought uh, Robert the Ghost Guerrero. And I was ringside for that. And maybe it was round six or round seven. And I'm sitting there ringside. And I'll never forget because the guy sitting to the right of me was a photographer, a guy named Chris Gazone, bald guy. And to my, to my left was Michael Rosenthal, the editor-in-chief of The Ring magazine, another bald guy, two white bald guys. Easy, man. And we're all, <laughs> we're all here? just slowly kind of slumping in our seats. And I'm like, yeah, I know the guy is an artist. I know he's a defensive genius. I know that he is a ring general. But when a guy is just throwing a jab and an occasional one-two, and he's completely dominating his opponent, I lose interest. And there was no buzz in the crowd. There's no buzz in the arena. I'm looking to the guy to my right. He looks like he's falling asleep. I'm looking to the guy on my left. He's yawning. We're not even writing. We've all, we already wrote our stories. We were already, by the round six, we knew, you know, okay, it's another, you know, uh, 117, 111 unanimous decision in, in, in favor of Floyd Mayweather. And I started to ask myself, my predecessors, my press row predecessors, the old, the old guard, the old newspaper sports writers and, and sports columnists, when they were covering a Tommy Hearns fight or a Sugar Ray Leonard fight, or even later on, let's say like a, a Donald Curry or a Simon Brown or a, a, a Felix Trinidad or even Oscar De La Hoya, when, when these guys held versions of the welterweight title, was there any point during one of those fights where they were just completely disinterested? We were literally yawning, and I look over to Chris Cozone and I say, do you think he's gonna throw a single body shot between this round and the 12th round? And Cazon said, you know, I wonder, I was thinking about that, I wonder if we'll, if we'll see a three punch combination. Like, who does that? Who's wondering about that? It's like, to me, it's, it's just easier for me to do my job when it's a Floyd Mayweather f fight to be at home. Cause I gotta yeah. edit, mm -hmm. I got, you know, it's easier for me to write my column. I'm not caught up in that, that cluster F that you have out there in Vegas and at the MGM Grand. It's just, it's easier for me to do my job. It's less stress, less people I'm bumping up against. You know, it's just, you know, I don't have to rub elbows with the money team wannabes or, or ignorant yours, Mayweather Doug. fans. They're, they're big fans of yours, Doug. They, they, get, <laughs> they get in the way, Steve. They yeah, get in the well, way of real journalists doing their job. I can actually do my job better just watching the darn thing on pay-per-view. For the record, there was actually a picture tweeted out of me of falling asleep on the couch I was watching the fight at at my friend's house. Really? Uh, yeah, it was a boring fight. Ken, I gotta ask you this, it's very simple. You work for the oldest African-American paper, maybe in the country, correct? I think there's an obligation for you to be there at a Mayweather fight because it's a big event. If you were not an a, a credentialed member of the media or had an obligation, would you really care about Mayweather Madonna the rematch? Well, I, I wouldn't go and pay and see it live, but Floyd Mayweather's an African-American, first and foremost. Floyd Mayweather is he's the richest athlete in the world today. Um, it's funny that Doug was mentioning all this stuff about these bald head guys. I'm bald headed, <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think that I was asleep, but I'm, I'm, I've been around this business for over 37 years. I understand that I, every time I go to an event, I don't have to pop my computer up and get every detail or else I might miss something. Uh, I will tell you this, that Floyd Mayweather is an event uh, he is always going to be an event for as long as he decides to be an event. I will be there on September 13th. And 
and I'll be there because of what I hear from most of the people that I always talk to. They want to see him lose and they don't like Floyd Mayweather and I think that there's a lot of that mentality that has infiltrated the minds of the people who cover Floyd Mayweather because they want to see him be something that he's not. He's, and, oh, okay. and, 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 that's, and I think that's the biggest concern that writers may have with him. I'm not concerned with Floyd Mayweather being something that he's not. Okay, but with that being said, though, guys, Dave, Dave you had the first fight of draw, which is surprising. I did. Okay, I did. so you're actually saying you're looking forward to the picture, not the event, that the actual fight, you are looking forward to the rematch. I'm actually looking forward to it because, um, you know, boxing being what it is these days, we don't get the fights we want. The best fights sometimes are the ones that aren't made. So I think this is about the best we're going to do right now with Floyd Mayweather. It was actually a good fight the first time around. Floyd got hit more than I've seen him get hit in years. And Surprisingly so. But yeah. for every everybody out there is saying, well, remember what Jose Luis Castillo, whenever Floyd has a rematch with a guy, he figures him out, he's going to win easy. I don't think so this time. Floyd's, what, 37 now? And for the first time, last time, for the first time, I thought I saw maybe his legs giving out a little, some age creeping up on Floyd Mayweather. I've never seen him get hit this many times. I like my daughter in this rematch here. I think he's going to press him. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. I like my daughter to win in the rematch here coming up September 13th because I think Floyd's legs are gone. I don't think he can move around the way he used to. And I saw, didn't you see some time, signs of wear and tear and his legs not being I what they were? I didn't see that. No, I thought his legs fight? were fine over the he second got, half of the fight. Because he got I hit think, more than he'd been hit than I've ever seen him get hit. In I, I think fight. Floyd, to a certain extent, overlooked Maidana because Maidana is not an elite welterweight. He's not an elite talent. Um, he is a rough, tough customer. And I think sometimes, you, you know, uh, we as members of the media and fans and even fighters themselves can look at Maidana and see all of his glaring defensive holes and his, his uh, technical flaws and just how raw he is as a boxer. But he's a, he's a formidable fighter. Mm -hmm. And he goes in there and he makes things happen. He's the kind of guy that, you know, if you look uh, at my analysis of uh, his fights, his, his, maybe his, his four fights leading in to the Mayweather fight, I thought he would lose all those fights. I thought he would lose to Jesus Soto Carras. I thought he would lose to Josecito Lopez. I thought he would lose to uh, uh, Adrian Broner. Amir Khan, how'd you have? I, I, I thought that was not an easy fight for, for Khan, but the, the only person that I've really thought, you know, the, the name fighter that I thought that Marcos Maidana would actually beat or dominate was Eric Morales. And he went life and death with a shot, Eric Morales, at a weight that Morale, Morales should probably never have been fighting at. So when you, when you think about all of that, it's easy to overlook him because let's face it, Broner, nowhere near the class of Mayweather. Uh, Josecito Lopez and Jesus Soto Carras, these guys probably wouldn't qualify as, as Floyd Mayweather's sparring partners. And the fact that those guys, yeah, they lost to Maidana, but those were fights. And those guys won rounds yeah. against Maidana. Yeah. And I think it's hard for even a fighter like Mayweather not to think about that. Like, this guy's not in my league. He's not on my level. So you go in there and you get shocked, at least for the first couple of rounds. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I'm in with a physical swarmer again. But to me, he just weathered the storm. And once he kind of got off the ropes and got his jab going, he took over the fight. But I did see it as a, a, a close contest. You think a little, a little attrition, yeah. a little slowing down of Floyd? You, don't, you didn't see it in the last fight? No, I mean, you know, you talk about his, his rematches. He's only had one rematch prior to this one, and that was the Castillo fight. And what he did in the rematch with the Castillo fight, he just neutralized Castillo. Well, he stunk it out. And when you, but he was 20, well, stink he was, what, it out, stink it out is, 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 is a layman's yeah. term for neutralizing. Yeah. It's what Bernard Hopkins does. Bernard Hopkins, you know, he, he, he's, he's going to, I think uh, he's going to neutralize him now. How old was he in that rematch, though? 23, 24? Really? He was yeah. in his prime. But right, I, think, right. I think the bottom line is, and Doug has alluded to it when he was saying all the things he was saying about Maidana and all these matchups. The reason why boxing and sports is what it is, is because on any given day, no matter how much of an expert we think we are, right. we don't know what's going to happen. Mm, and, that's true. And, and a great sports writer once told me when I was a young teenager that an expert in any sport is a person who was right one time. Because we right. don't really know. I'm looking forward to that. We day. don't. Yeah. Really, we don't. We don't really <laughs> know. Happen. You know. We hold it out. Yeah. I mean, how many sports writers have you seen this, this say that you know they had somebody after the fact, or they make a most I mean, of us. Yeah, yeah, most yeah, most of us. Yeah. But Ken. But Ken, I've always said this. There are three great matchmakers of all time: the great Teddy Brenner, Bruce Trampler, 
and Floyd, and Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather Jr. Floyd Mayweather, to me, you guys, Bob Arum, he knows how to pick his spots. He knows how to avoid certain guys. And I asked this of Floyd at the press conference. Floyd, can Madonna be any better or different? And the answer was a resounding no. We would all agree with that. Now, this is where we disagree, Ken. He is Ken. what he is. You actually buy into when Floyd says it. And this is the thing that's maddening about Floyd fans. Floyd actually laid on the ropes and let himself get beat for the first seven rounds for our entertainment value. You really think a guy well, like that who's so safety conscious and is going to bitch about gloves that are approved is going to get hit for our edification? Really, Ken? He's done it twice. Uh, the Cotto fight did not have to be nearly so as no? competitive. Listen, the Cotto fight didn't have... Floyd Mayweather makes fights competitive that he wants to make fights competitive. He can really go in with his athleticism and his defensive savvy and just stink up every fight. But now he's on the tail end of a $200 million contract. And if he stinks up so many more of these fights, what is he going to get on the back end? So what he does, he picks out a guy, Maidana, who beats a guy who many people thought was the heir apparent to Floyd. We now since know that Bronner isn't. He beats, Madonna goes through him. Floyd picks the guy who beats his little brother and he makes it a competitive fight. He makes it a competitive fight. What makes this next fight really intriguing is that I spent a lot of time in the gym with Floyd Mayweather leading up to the first Madonna fight and training is becoming way more difficult for him now than it's ever been. His body is not the same. And well, he's used to fighting once a year, so well, then yeah, you have his, two his, camps his body, in a year as body, opposed to one his camp. His body is not the same, yeah. and I've heard from people who are really, really close to Floyd who say that the, prom the fighting and the promotion is really becoming a challenge for him. Uh, and, and I noticed it at the, at the last press conference here when Madonna, uh, when, when Garcia, I believe it was Madonna's trainer, was talking about the girls that Floyd is paying on his payroll. Uh, old Floyd Mayweather always has some get back to that kind of conversation. He didn't this time, and I think now he is more of a promoter than he is a fighter. Okay. Okay. Does he still take the xylocaine shots in his well, hands? Because he's broken his hands so many well, times. And fighting more than once a year is, is, are his hands a problem. Well, that's why he fights in Vegas. So let's wrap this up. Yeah. Dave, you're going with the upset special. You're a I, bold I man. Like my uh, Ken, your prediction real fast? My prediction real fast is that Floyd Mayweather will beat Maydown. Uh, Doug? Convincing. I think it'll be a one-sided, back to the Floyd Mayweather we all know and hate, boring, unanimous decision. I think uh, Maydana is, uh, I think that was his hurrah right there, that first fight. I don't think he's carrying the same kind of desire and focus that he carried into the first fight, into this rematch. Um, and I, I don't think that Maidana's even training as hard for this rematch as he did for the first fight. I like, I like Mayweather, um, kind of like the, the, the rematch of the, uh, the Castillo fight. I think he just shuts him down, neutralizes him. All but right. I think he wins handily. And decision. I will also go with the chalk. I'll go with Floyd Mayweather.